单纯。他们说他们特别有自信，啊，对，对他们特别的坏心。我问一下，我马上要开始，没有，你不认识他，啊，你不认识他开始吗？我们要录音啊，你录音的都有扣吗？我们要录音，你都有，有扣没有？有，有，有，有，有，有，有，有，有，有，有，有，有，嗯，反正你就先录，拿回来再说。好Are you ready? Okay. Uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. As I told you last week, that uh, today's we're going to have class instead of students' presentation, and so、uh, today I'm going to show you is the role of the engineers in twentieth,、uh, twentieth, and twenty-first centuries. And this is very important to know what we have done and what we going, what we expect to achieve、uh, in this century. Twenty、uh, now is the twenty first century, right? Okay. Before I.、Uh, Talking about the roles of the、uh, engineers,、uh, I will tell you two examples: IBM and Toyota. Both of these two company are very big company in the world, and ones related to the computer, ones related to the uh, uh, cars. Uh, I mean the vehicles. And then、uh, the th the the story is like this. Sorry,、uh, probably only just the, the only、uh, slide I have the、uh, Chinese, but anyway, I explain in、uh, English. And do you know、uh, this company called Taiwan Sugar Company? It's a very big company,、uh, established many years ago. I don't know how many years ago, but approximately 100 years ago. And Taiwan Sugar Company. Located in、uh, Tainan, and then、uh, and in、uh, year of 1956,、uh, the IBM company、uh, set up their Taiwan branch.、Uh, in that time, 1956. How many years ago? 1956. How many years ago? 1956. 44 plus.、Uh, Nineteen、uh, now, right? So more than sixty years ago, at the time, probably not too many people knows about computer. They don't have any idea of computer, and so, uh, but uh, uh, IBM uh, already set up the branch、uh, in Taiwan, and the next year, nineteen fifty-seven. The IBM sold a one computer to Taiwan Sugar Company, and you know the computer in old days.、Uh, even in the time I studied my I studied my PhD in the United States, it's mainframe computer, not the notebook, not the uh, uh, PC desktop, a、uh, desktop. Every computer is mainframe. It's not accessible, accessible uh, by uh, users. Just like uh, uh, you communicate with the、uh, operators in the computer center, and just the way of the、uh, operating the computer at the time. So it's so we call the mainframe computer. 
and you know, and you know, 1957, IBM, Taiwan branch, saw the first computer to Taiwan Sugar Company. Maybe uh, there's the uh, first one uh, in Taiwan, and then at the time the computer was was transported by uh, Buffalo in Tainan. So uh, this is the uh, uh, historical picture of photos at uh, the time. And it looks really uh, uh, high contrast between high tech and, uh, and, and traditional uh, way of transportation. And just tell you what, can you hear or can you say something about this picture shows or this issue? The first computer in Taiwan was transported by uh, uh, Buffalo uh, Court. You mention something? Any comments or say something? Please use your microphone. Your microphone. Yes, microphone, please. Uh, this is very cool. I, I don't have comments. Uh, say it again, I can hear you. I, I don't have comments about this. <laughs> I don't have comments. Yeah, about this. It's very interesting and very cool. Okay. Uh, so it means there are uh, many different uh, way of the common this issue. I think one common is the sugar, Taiwan Sugar Company, its leading company in uh, Taiwan, although it's deal with the sugar. You know, the sugar industry in the all time is a uh, very uh, 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 big company and also make a lot of money. And that time, you know, even if you say uh, uh, agriculture mechanization, and the first industry used many, many farm machinery to uh, uh, grow or to harvest the sugar canes is the uh, sugar industry. And when they need a computer, it means when they buy a bought a computer, it means they need a computer. And so you can imagine, imagine how big the industry is. So uh, this first comment, and second com second pick second slide I'm going to show you is the uh, Toyota. If Toyota, now Toyota stands for a car, right? If the car will not gasoline, what will happen? Okay, that's very really easy comment, easy uh, conclusion and say, if the uh, car will not gas gasoline, what happen? This microphone. Maybe they will develop another technology like a motor to use electronic to take place gasoline. Okay, and the student is very smart. Uh, in traditional car is is the uh, gasoline car, and without gasoline, then you go nowhere. You just use this. But nowadays, you know, we have a hybrid or we have an electric car. Maybe without guessing, okay, we still can go, right? So, uh, but anyway, uh, if it's a gasoline car and without gasoline, and show you another funny picture. <laughs> so, uh, also Buffalo. So, Buffalo in Taiwan and Buffalo in Africa. So, uh, the Toyota now without gasoline and even uh, needed a buffalo to uh, carry them to go. And uh, the, the Toyota, the car itself, I think there's a truck. Yeah, there's some kind of rain or there's a truck. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> just serve as a, uh, <clears throat> a room to uh, carry or to store uh, some uh, goods or in picture here also the the human being i mean uh, people okay so you can there contrast of the uh, very high tech and also very traditional way of uh, 
uh, doing things. Okay. So these two photos uh, I would like to uh, share with you uh, at the very beginning of the, uh, the presentation of the role of engineers. Okay. And remember that in this class, uh, one of the uh, objective of this class is to not only for presentation, but also near discussion. The method is professor presentation, make presentation, or still make presentations. So uh, please make comments, add questions, and, and do some discussion. Okay. All right. So IBM and Toyota. And the greatest engineering achievements of the last century, 20th century. And so what are, are we have done, uh, we engineers have done? So it's uh, nominated, uh, nominated by 29 professional engineer societies and selected and ranked by a distinguished panel of national top engineers. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, good. Yeah. And so this nomination of the uh, greatest achievements uh, is very uh, careful and also very uh, 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 selected, uh, I mean, uh, very seriously uh, uh, selected by uh, many uh, distinguished panel and also the uh, some of the letter from the National Science Foundation in the United States. And so what are they? Uh, maybe too small, I will make it bigger. How many of them? 20 of them, 20 of them. So 20 of them, 20, 20 items listed here uh, was selected as, or ranked as a top uh, 20 uh, greatest achievements in last century. Now we have the 21st century. So this is the last century, 20th century. I make it bigger and then you can see here. Okay, the first item is the uh, so-called uh, electrification, the first one, yeah. Electrification. You would like to make some comments about electrification? Yes, please. Um, actually, I don't exactly know what to say, but um, yeah, uh, I, I agree with the fact that uh, electrification is one of the biggest achievements of the 20th century because uh, it provides uh, electricity for everyone. And like thanks to that, uh, there's a lot of uh, countries and even uh, uh, more uh, rural parts of some countries that um, improve their life, their daily life. So I think yeah, it's, uh, it was very, a very important improvement. Yes, in thank you, very important. Without electricity, uh, nowadays, I mean, modern people, as we, we say we are modern people, modern people, uh, if without electricity, almost cannot do anything we, we can do. Uh, in history, you know, uh, the people uh, reading the uh, articles, I mean, the papers, I mean, uh, I mean books, and then later time, because uh, we don't have electricity, so you can you need to lamp, use the uh, oil, uh, uh, use lamp, or some some people uh, to collect uh, the insect. It's called uh, flying insects. So in the fry they were uh, lighting at the tail and in a, in one of the can and to shine and to read. You know, you cannot imagine how how difficult time. Uh, 
not that long ago, say 100 years ago, you know, most countries and most places, they don't have electricity. Only a big city, they have electricity. So even in Taiwan, uh, I would say, even 50 years ago, in some areas of Taiwan, uh, they don't have electricity. They still need a uh, lamp uh, during the night time. We'd like to make a comment on electricity. If you save them without electricity, what, what's going, what would what happen? <laughs> Say something, yeah. Uh, I think that without electricity, we, we wouldn't have all the things that we have today. <laughs> like even this class, we wouldn't, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't have it, like this presentation. And, and like having like every place electricity, it facilitates the life of the person. The people. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in Africa, right now, I mean, nowadays, even in Africa, many places they don't have electricity. And so I remember one of the uh, team, they, uh, uh, the team is associated with the solar energy. They go there and uh, make some uh, solar, solar energy panel and solar panel and so they can collect energy and so they have some e electricity uh, during the night. And so the, the, the team asked the uh, African people there, what you like to do the most? The, 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 I mean, who, who, the, you like most, uh, what thing you, you like most uh, after you have the electricity? So, you can imagine if you are the uh, African uh, people, what would like to do, the most like to do uh, when you have electricity? You know, in, in the past, you don't have any electricity. Now your electricity arose from the solar and still electricity. And what would like to do when you have the electricity the first time? Use your microphone, please. You play game, play, use your cell phone. Reading more books. Reading more books? Wow, <laughs> very good. How about you? What are you going to do when you have electricity? The first time you have the electricity. My phone. <laughs> okay, okay. Some people would like to uh, do books, and somebody would like to uh, uh, use iPhone. If if you you are, you are then, what will you do when you have your American uh, African people without electricity, and then now have electricity the first time? What would you like to do the most? Yes. Oh, you, you need to. Yeah, I know, but uh, the song is very. Oh, I see. Daniel, could you could you make a control, make the microphone volume of microphone bigger? Okay. <coughs> It's, oh yeah, it's better. Oh good. Okay. Um, if I was an African people, the first the the thing I will do the most uh, would probably be like use inter. I will use internet probably like to be connected with the world. So I will probably find somewhere to to use a computer if I don't have one and go to check on internet what happened in the world. So okay. That's I should, <laughs> okay. Thank you. There could be many, many answers uh, because uh, every uh, one has different dream of the uh, using the electricity. And you know, what's the answer to that, that team from the American people? Because they, they don't have the electricity so many, many years and there's the first time they have electricity. So the first thing most people they would like to do, the first thing they would like to do is to watch TV. The football game. <laughs> the football game on TV. Okay. 
So the twisty is very important. Without the twisty, you almost cannot do anything. The second, uh, this is not a, by the rank. This, the, uh, this is top 20. Okay. So the second item, not the second importance, so, uh, is automobile. Automobile, cars. Anyone would like to make comments on that? Maybe from this side, you want to make some comments? The car. Uh, since Mr. Benz uh, invite, uh, invent first modern car, <clears throat> the car uh, become very important to human because human can transport goods or people to another place. Mm, that's all. Okay. You know, in United States, in that country, I know that America really well because I, I, I spent some years in the United States first study with a lot of cars. What happens to American people? Anyone want to comment? I beg your pardon? With a lot of cars in, in American daily life without a car, what happened? What would happen? <laughs> we take the plane. <laughs> uh, you know, the mass transportation, the mass transportation in the United States is very bad. Very bad. I only take one time of the train from New Jersey to New York. And that time, is I, take the, I took the train on purpose. I don't need to take a train because it's very really expensive and also uh, very really time consuming. If I drive a car, only 40 minutes from New Brunswick to New York City. But it takes train, uh, cost me, I don't know, know how much money, but I, I know it's much uh, expensive compared to the gasoline cost. And then take me, I mean, by car is only 40 minutes, but by train is one morning, uh, morning one hour. And this short distance, if the longer distance, then it takes a lot of time. And so, so there's no high speed train in Japan, uh, in, in United States. And the train nowadays in the United States only for the transportation of goods. Goods, you know, the uh, brands, uh, not of, to carry people. Most of the train designed not uh, to carry people, but to ca carry the goods. So uh, the American culture nowadays is built based on the cars. Without cars, and there's no uh, very very inconvenient to uh, to to live in the United States. So people, all, all people, may say without car in the United States, it means the people without legs. You you go nowhere. You go nowhere. Okay, and automobile uh, that's in for uh, America, but for most part of the. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, or I mean, in other countries, it's very important because the cars uh, make a many things happen. And I hear may I raise a question: If you have money, some money, you want to buy a car first, or you want to pay the first uh, uh, mortgage of the of the house? What will you do? 你有钱,你要先买车子,还是要先付投机款 mortgage, the first mortgage of the house. What will you do? If you uh, personally, I would mortgage the house. You, you I would mortgage the house. You mortgage your house, yeah, you pay the mortgage your house. Like, okay. Because real estate doesn't drop in value, but uh, after the first day you purchase the car, it will depreciate in value. Yeah. And over time, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not what the, uh, the amount you paid for. The uh, the house will appreciate the value after years, after years. But the car will depreciate. You know, the first year of the depreciation of the car, almost I would say thirty percent, thirty percent. So you pay, you say you pay ten thousand US dollars for the for the car, and after one year you only have. 7,000 uh, value of the car. And that's very traditional way of the uh, people. 
But my son, he told me that he would like to buy a car first because he knows I, I have a house. So uh, anyway, my house finally will become his house. So he don't need to <laughs> pay money <laughs> for a house. He would like to buy a car so he have freedom. So automobile, sometimes not only the, the way of the uh, technology, but it's, it is a symbol of freedom. You can go any places. And so, uh, so this is why young people, they, uh, before they can, they have enough money to buy a car, they, they buy a motorcycle first, because freedom, right? Freedom. And especially your girlfriend, and then uh, you need some, of, some kind of vehicle to go some places on, for only you, you two, right? All right, and the third one is airplane. Wow, this on the uh, road, this is in the air, airplane. Anyone would like to come in the airplane? The one of the most achievement of engineers in the past century. Yes. Do you have the uh, how many experience? I mean, you took an airplane. Yeah. To somewhere. Without airplane, I wouldn't be here studying. <laughs> That's <laughs> the first place. And also, even the airplane, my father or mother wouldn't like met. I think. Mm -hmm. So maybe I wouldn't be here if, if airplane wouldn't exist. Okay, mm. so the airplane make the uh, humans distance shorter and shorter. So it's the uh, one global is on become the one village, right? Anyone would like to make a comments on the airplane? In my time, uh, when my first trip to United States for graduate study in New Jersey, Rutgers University, and I took the airplane, very, very expensive, very, very expensive. And then, so uh, for the whole period of the uh, stay in the United States, seven years, uh, I never come back to visit my parents during that time because just too expensive. So this, although I travel, some uh, some flights uh, locally in uh, I mean domestically in the United States for conferences, but uh, the international uh, flight is very expensive at the time. But now it's much cheaper now, much much cheaper compared to uh, old days. And then I just came back from uh, uh, Tokyo, and you know there's a very very strong rate, and they say that it's the biggest, the strongest typhoon. In the past 61 years in Japan, attach, I mean, attack uh, Kandong and uh, area. I mean, and Tokyo is in the area of the Kandong. And I, um, uh, the time, the day I uh, have the uh, return flight, it's just the the strongest day of the uh, typhoon. I mean, the day of the strongest uh, typhoon. So, uh, but the, uh, the 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 air company is very smart. Uh, instead of cancel the uh, the flight, they, uh, they uh, instead of cancel or postpone the air flight, they uh, set the schedule earlier, two hours earlier, to avoid the attack by a typhoon. So, fortunately, I can come back and to uh, show up sh here and uh, in front of you. Always, I mean, I mean, caught uh, in. Tokyo uh, for additional two days. And it's very serious. Now in Japan, you know, in Japan now it's caused 50 deaths already. 50, 50 deaths already. And it's not the com uh, many, many deaths due to the uh, flooding, the flooding. So very uh, strong wind and also storm, I mean, heavy rain and so on. And, and also earthquake <laughs> altogether. Okay. And this automobile uh, airplane and water supply and distribution. Anyone will comment on that? You want to make a comment? Oh, you want to make a comment? Oh, yes, please. Very good. Yeah, yeah brief enough to uh, say if, something. If there wasn't like a water supply or distribution and distribution, we will go to a lake to pick up water every day and just have a limited amount of water every day. So it will be, I think, 
painful for our life. Yeah. So people will get water their own way uh, before uh, we have the system of water supply and distribution. Taiwan have the water uh, supply, I mean, running water system long time ago, almost almost 100 years ago. Although not as common, I mean, popular for the whole nation, but in cities, in cities about 100 years ago. Uh, if you don't have the running water and the water from there is one way, how about in Taiwan or in some other country too? Maybe the lake is far away from you. So, we'll, and maybe that some river or some creek is uh, uh, far, far away from you. What do you really do? I wanted to, <clears throat> I wanted to say that uh, the water supply and distribution helps for the the human safety too, because the water is more uh, controlled because of the supply. So, for the health, I mean. Now there's a big improvements. So, for example, sometimes we can drink the tap water, or so there is more control for human safety too. So, yes, that's a good thing. Okay, thank you for comments. And in Taiwan, probably most people would take the oil, you know, oil gin, and then uh, get the water from there. Okay, and so, uh, uh. Because we in, yeah, live in Taipei, so we are uh, used to it, and we take it as for granted uh, what other supply. But in some rural, I mean, uh, you know, countryside, uh, people there, they still need a ticket oil to get the, the water to uh, not only for, for your pets, to drink. Drink is important, right? And you know, the milk, you know, when we, we have a newborn, we have a baby, and the, the best milk for them is what? Mother's milk, mother's uh, milk. Um, but, you know, some big company in um, Australia or in some other uh, countries, they would like to have uh, sell their milk powder, powder to African countries. And then something happened. Although it's convenient for mother, you don't need to, you know, feed the the babies, you know, once every few hours. And the milk is to use water and to, uh, 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 I mean, the milk powder and with water you can make a milk drink for 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 the babies. But the sanity of the the safety of the water in Africa areas, not every place is safe. So it's maybe is, you know, pollute uh, water. And then, uh, so it's, and sometimes you, you, you may get the baby sick because the water is not clean enough. So uh, still the mouse milk is very important, not only for the nutrition, but also for the antibodies. Uh, for the new bones, especially. Okay, that's the water supply and distribution. And electronics, electronics. Many electronics have been, uh, I, I mean, many applications of the uh, electronics have been uh, developed in the last, last century. I, I think this very, really, uh, uh, also important achievement in the past century. Radio and television, TV, radio and, te and TV. And even the te television, I mean TV, the history of TV, maybe less than 50 years or 60 years, you know. So uh, radio, uh, even now, uh, uh, because Taiwan in the area of earthquake, so always the expert asks you to prepare flash line and radio, not the TV, not the TV. So in case you are you are cut or you having trouble with earthquake, and then radio is can use it to receive some news or some uh, 
some information from outside, but TV probably is not that okay. And so radio and TV also change the way of people's living style, okay? Anyone would like to comment on radio and television? No, there's probably, you won't see radio, uh, that kind of uh, uh, equipment uh, in common life. But radio is everywhere. Radio in your cell phone. You, you check carefully the FM and AM. So, and recorder, tap recorder in all time, you take recorder, down recorder also in your cell phone. So now buy one cell phone, you buy many kind of <laughs> electronic appliances, okay. And TV also, uh, if you pay some, some, some money and some fee, I mean, you also can watch TV on your, your cell phone. Okay. Although it's a small one, but, uh, it's convenient. Uh, it's for, for young people. They, they may not sit in a sofa and, uh, watch the big TV, uh, in the living, living room or something. Okay. Okay, here comes our, our field, agricultural mechanization. And it's also a very important uh, achievement in the past century. And then without the agricultural mechanization, I guess we don't, even now we don't have enough food to feed ourselves. And, and to feed everybody uh, enough, Enough for the food, uh, to feed everybody in the world is called, or in a nation, uh, say in France or in Taiwan, they call food security. Okay. Food safety is something safe or not. Food security is enough or not. Okay. So food security is very important. I think uh, food security, uh, not only by agriculture mechanism, also by distribution. So if the amount of food that we produced each year and then compared to the population we have in the world should be enough. But unfortunately in Taiwan secure, in France secure, in United secure, in Africa not secure. So this means that we, we have enough food, more than enough, but Africa uh, people, they don't enough food. And you know, there's some kind of the uh, aid from uh, United States or from other countries Taiwan also have uh, give some aid, I mean, uh, food to uh, Africa, but still they have problem. There's not only food problem, they, 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 they also have another problem called distribution. Maybe they don't have the real way to distribute the food to each places in the country. Maybe they don't have good system, you know, I would say it actually it's true, it's fact. Uh, some uh, officer, they, 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 instead of distribute the food, they keep the food to sell, to earn their own money, dirty money, you know. So, uh, but anyway, market, agricultural mechanization makes the uh, food security or contribute to the security of food in the world is very important. Computers also uh, was, uh, developed in the last century, right? So um, I just mentioned that uh, IBM computer and uh, Taiwan sugar company. So uh, it had been in with us so many years, okay. Telephone. Uh, uh, let me ask a question. That's a traditional telephone set. Any one of you don't have experience with this kind of telephone set? Are you, are you pardon? Yeah, no, no. Just a traditional telephone. Uh, maybe different, diff, different style, but the, it, it is not a cell phone. And this, this have the, uh, knowing connected to the, uh, uh, to the cable, and I mean, not that they wire this, this is the wild. Anyone have the experience uh, with this uh, wild telephone? 
maybe you are you are young enough. <laughs> so maybe the traditional phone you use is wireless, right? And nowadays it's a cell phone. Yeah. And this uh but anyway, this this picture just shows you that the telephone is very uh also important tool for the communication of people. Uh not only in I mean you've uh, in the same country, but, but uh, inter internationally. And, but you need to pay, even your local calls, you need to pay, uh, regardless of the uh, international calls. But now you use a cell phone, uh, you use the uh, any kind of the uh, <clears throat> app, for example, the Nine or the uh, WhatsApp, it's free. You don't need to pay anything for token, right? So uh, changed uh, quite a bit. <clears throat> But ideas from there, uh, air conditioning and refrigeration. And so, you know, you, when you have a drink, it's cold drink, and you, it's uh, because we have this kind of technology. And we stay in the room, a uh, very cool and nice place to study or to uh, listen to a uh, lecture, and with air conditioning. And, and also, we need the uh, refrigeration to refrigerator to keep our food fresh or to freeze our, our food. The traditional food, that time without the uh, uh, refrigerators, usually is salty or dry. Why? Because they need to keep the food. So in order to avoid the food become uh, spoiled, they need to use the salt or you need to uh, take out the water, take out water. So the, the grain, the rice, the rice, uh, you know, the moisture content, the self, the to self, for self, self storage is 13, 13%. If more than 30%, for example, 50%, 15% or 16%, uh, the rats can be spoiled uh, in one week or two. So, uh, uh, refrigerators is very important to uh, for now for nowadays uh, uh, living. Okay. Highways, uh, also important, right? Uh, without a car, uh, I mean, car, it, it, you, you have the cars without highways, no place to go. And even you cannot get, the, uh, get to your destination in short time. So highways is associated with the uh, transportation system we have now. Okay. And sp spacecraft. So we have spacecraft. We I mean we people, not Taiwanese people, <laughs> uh, American people, or some uh, leading kinds. I mean leading uh, technology in this area. Uh, the uh, the people named in the moon and have the aircraft to the Mars. Then and so uh, very important uh, to to find some other places uh, uh, related to or. Uh, uh, Earth. So, in case we have the uh, more population, maybe we, we may immigrant uh, human beings to there, or, or, or we can take out some uh, resources from there, uh, bring it back to uh, uh, to the Earth. And so, space aircraft, spacecraft is important. Uh, Professor Ian, you would like to comment something on the sp spacecraft? Yes, yes, please. Uh, <clears throat> for myself, um, I my perspective for space <coughs> craft is that um, now there's uh, more <coughs> towards more like uh, reusable space craft. Um, and several years ago, probably the they go to the moon and they have to uh, abandon all the space corrupt when it returned to the, the Earth. But these days, uh, 
we were moving towards to reusable uh, spacecraft. The idea is that uh, if we want to uh, have a space travel, then the technology had to move forward to bring the people back. That's one thing. And the other thing is that uh, the Earth is only a very small part of uh, the space. So we have to think about uh, uh, if we want to, uh, you know, to uh, explore the universe. So that's kind of another, uh, <clears throat> another perspective that uh, the people on the Earth have to think about. Uh, we only, we only uh, one of the inhabitants in the universe. So spacecraft also increase our view, our perspective towards the universe. So one day, if we can visit Mars and come back, I think that we would have different uh, way of thinking towards to the Earth. That's my <laughs> philosophy okay. comment. Okay. okay, explore the universe. Yes, very important Yeah, for we human beings. Not only limit ourselves on the Earth, we can go to other places in the universe. Okay, internet. Internet. You know, important. You your cell phone, your emails, and everything, now it's internet. And uh, especially uh, for, I think the internet changed the way of communication very much, a lot, even comment, okay. And not only the communication, because now we can even like buy things on internet or like it changed the way we live, so I think it's more, than just communication. Mm. Yes, uh, even the banking. The banking, I believe, some years ahead, I mean, uh, from now, maybe you don't need to go to a bank. You use the internet to uh, to transaction, uh, to make transactions of your uh, money uh, with your bank. And the other thing, the other item is uh, imaging. Imaging, not only for technology, but nowadays is for many things. So when you have the uh, uh, cell phones uh, communication, you can use a voice or you can use a vo uh, video. I mean, you can see the face of the, uh, your friends. And uh, so uh, imaging uh, scientifically, uh, Nowadays, for example, I, I probably I shared with you in one of the, my lectures before, uh, I can use the imaging, uh, use a CNN convolutional neural network to identify the, the width and also the, the crops. So uh, in that way, I can uh, physically to remove the weeds, not to spray the uh, chemical on the, on the weeds. And so uh, for weeding. So imaging now uh, becomes not only for scientific purpose, but also used for the common, uh, common lives. And household uh, uh, appliance. So you have a coffee maker, you have the uh, toaster, you have the uh, rice cooker, uh, very important for we people. Rice cooker, uh, uh, it's very uh, helped the, uh, uh, not only housewife, but also for we all the people very much uh, in the house. Okay. Or oh, maybe I can ask a question. What's the most uh, item in the household appliance you used in the house, in your home? Uh, I think the refrigerator. Refrigerator, okay. Yeah. How about you? The oven or microwave? Oh, microwave, good, yes. How about you? TV or something? <laughs> uh, maybe it's TV. Okay. Or, <clears throat> uh, uh, 
Wi-Fi device uh-huh. or something. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. How about you? I I agree with the microwave. You okay, yeah, microwave. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, washing machine, uh, anybody, uh, washing machine is the business of your mother. <laughs> but you, when you uh, stay outside, probably you need to wash your clothes yourself. Okay. Health technologies. Yes. Uh, because the, uh, in the, the range of the uh, health uh, technologies, now the everyday life of Taiwanese people the age, what's the age of the we uh, times people have? Uh, 80 something, 81. Uh, I think the uh, on average is 80. I don't know, around 80, around 80. And hum- I mean, ladies, I mean, uh, women, uh, a few years uh, more compared to uh, the male. The female is much longer life. And but on average is about 80 something. More than more, a little bit more than 80s uh, uh, in Taiwan. How about in France? I think I probably think it's the same way, same same. Age. Uh, it's been a long time since I didn't heard a lot of information about it, but it's around 82. 82. Yeah, 81, okay. 82. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And petroleum and petrochemical technologies. Uh, when you say petroleum, of course, is the uh, gasoline, uh, those things are from uh, petroleum. But, but don't forget, many things is from petrochemical uh, technology. For example, the plastics, the plastics, and even the, uh, some fibers, the chemical uh, made of fibers, also from uh, petroleum. And many of them, many of them. So uh, uh, I don't know, but the uh, the oil reservoir uh, in the world that's only for about forty years from now on, forty years. So if we keep the way we are consuming now. Uh, uh, that's only for forty years. So at forty years, no gasoline, no plastics, <laughs> and that's why some. Uh, Petroleum, uh, I mean, oil company, petroleum company, they're very serious about this situation. So they uh, put some money for research on bioenergy uh, to, and for car company, car making company. And they, uh, they, they develop the uh, hybrid or they even the, the I mean, pure electrical cars uh, in the future. And in European countries, I think. They don't allow a uh, gasoline car in the next five years or something. They, they will change to uh, the, the electrical cars uh, very soon. Yeah. And Taiwan, maybe not the first, not the first, but uh, sooner or later, uh, I think this is the trend of the, uh, uh, the car company, I mean, the car industry. All right, probably, oh, so there's some more. Lasers and fiber optics. Uh, this is lasers. This is, and but this is not only for that. Lasers can be used many places, and uh, fiber optics, you know, is 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 the uh, uh, fiber to guide the, the light, and uh, so uh, it's important and. Uh, so even our internet uh, transmit devices, uh, many of them use uh, fiber optic is very fast. And lasers can be used to uh, cure your cancer, your, your can- cancer tissues, okay, and to cure your uh, cancer problem. And new career technology. And nowadays, you know, the this technology could be used as a uh, uh, piece usage or use this as a tool, I mean, a uh, weapon. And so Yuri is the, uh, we need to stop uh, to kill ourselves by a nuclear weapon. And the first uh, nuclear weapon uh, used by United, by uh, American soldiers 
is it dropped to uh, bombs uh, in Japan, right, in the Second World War. And, and nowadays, maybe people not, not use the nuclear weapon, but maybe a nuclear power plant. And so in many places, even in United States, three mile island, 30 mi Sanita, three mile island, they also have the uh, problem of the uh, nuclear power plant. Yes, please. In my country, we still doesn't have nuclear energy. Ah, but it's more because of earthquakes problems. Yeah, yeah, and uh, so you need to consider many things together uh, when you try to use the nuclear nuclear plant. I mean, I mean power and uh, safety is most important. Uh, Taiwan, we have four for uh, nuclear power plants, and uh, but Taiwan is in in the area of the earthquake. And some people against it because they are, if they have if it had a problem, and then we know where to escape. And Taiwan is small, right? Okay. High performance materials, and some materials have the memory, have a memory. So you know the pillow. You say there's some kind of pillow uh, when you sleep on, and then remember your head, the shape of your head. And uh, that's good. And so not only that one, I mean, the pillow, also many materials have their uh, different, I mean, uh, performers. And uh, it was built in, in last century. Okay, okay, that's all 20 items. Uh, we, we engineered it up in uh, the, the last, uh, last century. So that's the. Uh, most uh, uh, achievements, the greatest, this is the greatest uh, engineering achievement of the 20th century. Okay. All right. Then how about uh, the greatest engineering challenges of 21st century? challenges in this century now. And let's look at The first thing is make solar energy uh, e economically. Uh, although we developed the solar energy technology in this I mean, that, that century, but still too expensive to use it. So um, uh, how to make it uh, cheaper and, uh, and it's very important in the century for engineers, yes. And we have to make it more ecological to recycle too because the recycling of solar panels are very, I mean, are not very good for mm -hmm. the ecology, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, and currently the situation is uh, because solar energy is the density, uh, uh, your counter energy density is not high uh, compared to uh, petroleum. And so this need a lot of area, the collectors, area collectors to collect the solar uh, lighting. And so you, you can make more uh, efficient uh, collectors and then we can uh, make the uh, uh, solar energy cheaper and so you can, and that's from technology point of view. And also from policy point of view, if the government can set up some kind of encouragement to promote the usage of the solar energy, then it will be great. And second is to provide the energy from the fusion. Uh, fusion, Zonghe. And uh, so, it, you know, as I mentioned, uh, from now on, 40 years left, uh, for, for, for people to use petroleum. And, uh, you know, we can wait until 40 years, say 20, 20 years from now. And I think the uh, oil, I mean, petroleum will become very, very expensive. And, and so we need to, we need to find out some way to secure our energy. 
I mean, the security. Remember to make a security our image. Always, we cannot use our cell phone. We cannot watch TV or football games, and then and, and many things. So, uh, uh, another way to provide energy is by fusion, molecular fusion. So, mm, uh, just like the nuclear power, and there's another way out to uh, make the uh, energy. And the next one is to prevent nuclear terror. And as I mentioned, the nuclear uh, power could be used as a uh, uh, usage for electricity, but also nuclear can be used, technology can be used as a weapon. So uh, uh, the even they don't, uh, the, I mean, the, the people, even the ambition people, they don't use this to, I mean, uh, uh, to make the weapon, but still if, they do something on your power plant, then still a, a tragedy uh, for 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 we people. So we need to prevent the uh, nuclear terror. Uh, the next is manage the nitrogen cycle. Maybe you can come on because you are uh, in this more well, this in this field, right? Um, I'm I'm not. I mean, it's not my favorite part of my special specialization, but anyways, uh, yeah, um, managing the nitrogen cycle is very important because, um, I mean, in the nature, all the cycles are linked. And so if we manage uh, to, to, I mean, if we protect every cycle and if we manage like this one, uh, it can be like a good thing to, keep the nature working well, and so not disturbing too much uh, the but the equi equilibrium of the nature, so. Thank you. Uh, nowadays, we may be, uh, for farming, we uh, put too much uh, fertilizers, and the nitrogen will, you know, penetrate uh, through the soil, and then uh, uh, pollute your drinking water. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah ju just with that, uh, yeah, uh, talking about agriculture, the fact, uh, the in entrants uh, that agriculture provides to the soil, that after it comes in the soil and it pollutes water that we drink after. So uh, that is a big um, challenge too, because we have to improve agriculture and we have to improve the way we do agriculture too. So we have to find solution to produce more without uh, polluting the soil, so for yeah. for our own health. Sure, for our health. Okay. And then the next one is to uh, provide access to clean water. Oh, that's very important. Although we say we have, we engineers have uh, developed some kind of system for water supply and distribution, right? But this not a, all, all, all the war. I mean, I mean every process. So uh, we need to do something to make all the people uh, can access to the clean water. Drinking is very important for the health. So you will see many items here is the more that's related to the health or the uh, environment. Environment. The next is restore and improve the urban infrastructures. Uh, what does urban mean? Urban means city, okay. And any people can tell me the population of New Mexico City? One, uh, 10 million, New Mexico City, Mexico. Many, many, many people there. And not, a, uh, not for uh, that big city, but even in Tokyo, you, you know, in a subway, in a subway, people need to move in the, the, uh, the car, I mean, the train. So uh, uh, destroy and improve because it, it, the, the city becomes too big and it's kind of, 
uh, getting more and more problems. So we engineer to figure out some way to destroy and improve the infrastructures. Otherwise, the, uh, the efficiency or the convenience of the big city will become uh, less and less. And, and, and this is why some people don't want to live in a big city. They work in a big city, but they stay or they live, say, 100 kilometers from, uh, or 50, I mean, some distance from uh, the, the, the big city. That's why New York City is a good place to work because all the uh, commercial, uh, financial uh, centers, uh, districts there. But most people will live in the uh, uh, nearby areas, for example, the New Jersey or the north part of the uh, Orange County of the uh, New York City. Okay. The next item is advanced the health informatics. What's informatics? Health informatics. I think there's some, that this is more or less related to the DNA. So uh, why, say for example, you get sick because of the uh, flu. You also get sick because of flu. And the, the doctor give you the same medicine, but you, you two people response or the recovery condition or two people is different. And you know, our saying we say, Yes, our body condition, everybody's different. Why is different? Because our DNA is different. So uh, maybe uh, some years from now, maybe we can uh, check your DNA first and then give you a medicine based on the informatics or information from your DNA. Maybe, maybe. I think. This also challenge. This is the challenges for our engineers in this century. So now it's only uh, 2019. So it's uh, 81 years to go. So uh, maybe by the end of the century, uh, maybe I'm I'm not uh, long uh, long left enough to uh, to see to, at the end of the century. But you are. You you could be. You could be the people uh, to uh, to see what we have done for the uh, health informatics, for medical usage. Uh, engineering better medicines, see, related to the health, and need the help from our engineers. And uh, so, uh, better medicines, uh, especially for cancers and, and so on. And, and also some, uh, because we people become uh, longer and longer lives. And so many diseases or problems associated with the aged people and we need to develop some kind of medicines for them. And reverse engineering on the brain. Still now the brain is mystery, <laughs> still mystery. The way we are thinking, the way we are response, the way we are, we only know a little bit, not that much. And so if we can know more about brain and then we're much better for many things. Uh, for example, to uh, uh, medical uh, curing or for the learning, teaching, learning, and, and many things we can, uh, can benefit from the uh, better understanding of our brain. Okay. Develop carbon sequentization methods. The carbon caused the global warming, right? So uh, we try, need to try some way to reduce or to catch the carbon. So this is called carbon sequentiation. Uh, so anyone would like comment on this? I know you will comment. Yes. Um, on an ecological point, uh, we know that uh, to decrease the CO2 uh, 
level in the air, we need trees. Uh, and so we should increase forests instead of destroy them. So that was my point on this. I mean, uh, we already know how to uh, how to avoid like some amount of carbon, but uh, uh, we should keep forests instead of just destroy them, and there will be less carbon dioxide in the air. Okay, so we need to do something on the uh, reducing our carbon because the global warming is a very really serious problem for we human beings, and uh some uh some countries or some islands in the ocean could be uh, <laughs> flooded uh, could be covered by uh, sea water uh, if uh, the way uh if the global warming uh going away like this and sooner or later they're going to be have a problem and next is the uh, secure the cyberspace cyber means internet and uh, so, uh, you know, many, many uh, uh, best things could be done from the uh, cyber connection. So how to secure our cyber, uh, uh, I mean, for our computers, for our cell phones, very important, very important. Okay, and enhance the uh, virtual reality. We are virtual reality. Anything that come in virtual reality? So uh, we have done, something now but we needed to enhance maybe professor ian can comment on about the vr technology so our world is mixture of uh, physical world and the virtual world so i mean the future uh <coughs> the information uh maybe come from the physical world but also come from the computer world so computing world so uh how we use the virtual reality to increase for example the design area design uh, domain uh include and entertainment health care and even the daily life i think the virtual reality also mixture mr as well yeah so it's going to be very very important uh, yes yes and even uh, the way you are learning to drive the airplane or the cars and we are could help you quite a bit they can also uh, simulate uh, different kind of situations uh, for your driving okay Okay, advanced their uh, personalized uh, learning. That's what I say. Uh, each people is different. And then maybe the pace you, you learn English is very fresh. Maybe your pace learn Japanese is very fresh. And so each, and also the way of you uh, receive the information um, are quite different. So uh, if we can develop some kind of personalized learning and for everybody, and then each, each person can be, uh, uh, can be used the, the full his or her uh, tenant uh, uh, to the more, to the uh, better. So uh, uh, this personalized learning uh, nowadays is becoming uh, uh, Important, important. And for example, in Taiwan, uh, in uh, elementary school and also in high school, and uh, this, uh, we also have, that that that's not only for the uh, 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 students that have their uh, problem learning, but also for the talented student. I mean, gifted student. They are different from the. Uh, ordinary students and then we needed to pay attention on them but now but our goal is even the ordinary students each people is different each student is different so we needed to do something kind of personalized learning i mean teaching now maybe my here i i teach this in a way it's assume all of them all of you are the same but in in the future probably different people different students with different way of learning Okay. Yes, you want comment? Good. Uh, give us some comments. Try to relate it to uh, uh, the 
health genomics, and also we have uh, some uh, scientific uh, for the plan, also for the virtual reality, and also the personal therapy. I mean, this is all related to because these days we have very powerful application power. Right? So with this uh, come the power, we can. Uh, we can actually uh, explore the area which is related to various, uh, for example, the human being. We have people, people are different. So these days, we try to build a model, individual model. So when you're born with different DNA, whatever. So gradually, you have individual model for person. and And then we try to uh, investigate or uh, say, try to develop the medicine which is for individual. So in this case, I, I get sick. I have the medicine, but this medicine is best developed based on the statistics, right? So some people are, are maybe uh, effective, but some people are, have side effective, whatever. But in the future, they are going to have personalized medicine based on personalized model. So that's all related to, uh, we have very powerful uh, computing power. And then, uh, this is all, that, all related to the virtual reality as well. So, uh, because the, all, the information, all the information can be processed by the uh, computer, and then for the treatment, for the interaction, they can use also the information. So virtual reality or related to the information exchange between the model and the human. So this is, I want to comment. So some of the challenges in 21st century, uh, most of them are related to, uh, you know, the computing. So that's why artificial intelligence, AI is also important these days. So mathematics, again, <laughs> It's one of the very uh, basic <laughs> for everybody. <laughs> thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Professor Yen's comments. <clears throat> yes, uh, AI, artificial intelligence, uh, computing, also called cloud computing, and so on. And uh, it's very important uh, in the uh, next century. And uh, the last one is the engineer, the tools of scientific discovery. So, uh, science. Many scientific uh, discovery uh, need some tools, and then uh, we engineer to help them to do it. So that's all for the uh, challenges. Uh, greatest engineering changes of 21st century. Okay, this slide already uh, posted to our SEBA uh, uh, website, and so you can download it, uh, uh, you, you can review them. And before, uh, I mean, uh, not only this, but also uh, uh, this comment uh, in this slide also, and uh, globalization and innova innovation, and here you also say something about the IT best. There's a pointer. Okay. And then uh, usually uh, the project, uh, uh, IT based project is usually uh, accomplished by dividing the functions into a thousand or so components, each of which is created by, held by a different group of engineering and managers in all places of the world, because now is the uh, cyber space is so uh, popular and so fast. So, uh, and communication is so easy. So uh, this can be done uh, in this century. May not be that way in the last century, but in this century you can do this. And so, uh, this group are likely to be in several different locations around the world. Just like you learning uh, uh, in NTU from France also. And also we have some students uh, uh, in different 
places in the, in the world. Okay. And I will very quickly. And two frontiers of engineering in the century, tunneling system and Marco system. Okay. And tiny systems are those developed in the bio, narrow, info world where things get increasing the uh, smaller, faster, and more complex. Okay. And if you're doing a tiny system, uh, there's a little, not much distinction between the engineering and natural science. And sometimes uh, you are engineering, not doing the uh, tiny things. But now in 21st century, tiny, tiny world, tiny system also is our field. I mean, engineering is field. Okay, but we need to gap, to bridge from a tiny to macro systems. Okay, so uh, uh, here says the. Uh, Research and product development are done by teams of men and women from a various scientific and engineering disciplines that rapidly move from a reductionist science to synthesis and system buildings. Now it's macro. And macro systems are of even increasing size and complexity. Uh, and this front frontier may be associated with system of great uh, social type, uh, I mean, uh, social, to, social to importance, importance, energy, water, environment, healthcare, uh, manufacturing, communication, logistics, uh, and so forth. So there's many things uh, associated with together for micro, micro system. So research development and design, the develop, uh, deployment of the project frequently require teams of engineers and people with different background in social science, management, and communication. So not only engineers uh, feel, we engineer to work with people from uh, social science, from management field, and also uh, from communications. Okay. And from time to macro system. So that's something we need to do. Macro, is something for application. So we engineers, finally we need to do the, uh, the macro system. So, so, so it says much of that will be exciting and valuable in the 21st century will be the work of engineers who will move tiny systems technology into macro system application. So tiny system technology to uh, macro system applications. Some examples. Uh, the application of bio-based materials design and production, uh, biomet biometrics, uh, biometrics, personalized uh, predictive medicine. See here, Professor Ian just mentioned uh, personal predictive medicine, biofuels, nanotechnology-based energy production and storage devices, and so on and forth. Okay. So conclusions, this change involves energy and uh, sustainability, medicine, healthcare, reducing our vulnerability to nature and human threats, and advancing our human capability and understanding of our world and ourselves. Meeting some of men, meaning some of these changes is imperative for human survival. If meeting some make us more secure. It will meet in all will improve quality of life. Okay. So uh, the 21st century will be very different from the 20th for engineers. So engineering will be enormously exciting and increasingly rich and complex in its context and importance. I think that's the last slide I have. Yes. Any questions or any comments for today's lecture?
if no no more comments i will uh, remind you that next week we're going to have the uh, three university together and we're going to have first the uh, student pre presentation session and daniel how many were from our NTU one once pre-entrance will be from our NTU students here for next week for next week join class and uh, how many students are going to make a presentation uh, next week Okay, you, 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 you have a draw, right? So who is going to be the first one or second? Is it going to be the first one? So you're going to make a presentation next week. So you must prepare for that. Okay, so read the Peter's, Professor Peter's uh, uh, PowerPoint and try to make your presentation and eight minutes presentation, eight. You need to talk eight minutes, okay? And remember to practice and practice and practice. So practice is very important uh, at home. So please uh, make the list as soon as possible. And also, do you give the title to Daniel? Okay, so who, who, what is going to talk next week? You're not prepared yet. <laughs> you only know the title. Okay, anyway, uh, please prepare, prepare for them. Prepare for uh, uh, next week's uh, uh, joint class. Okay, and everybody, I think it uh, can begin to prepare your materials, your PowerPoint, I mean, and then and practice uh, and make a good performance uh, when it uh, comes to your term, your term, okay. All right, and so uh, it's end of today's class. So see you uh, next week, okay, bye-bye.